and Israel has a sovereign right to defend us. Now, one of the things that all of us need to work to hold people accountable is to reject the false moral equivalence between Israel and the terrorists who are seeking to murder others. There is a fundamental difference between Hamas terrorists that want to murder innocent men, women, and children the nation of Israel that's acting to protect our civilians. Amen. Just a few weeks ago, we saw three Israeli teenagers kidnapped in a bus station as they were headed home from school. Their only crime was being Jews. And they were taken and shot in the back of the head, execution style, and left face down. These were Hamas terrorists, mind you. Hamas is now part of the so-called unity government in the Palestinian Authority. And Hamas and the terrorists celebrated the murder of these innocent children. There is no moral equivalence. If you look at the rockets that are raining down on Israel, Israel's response is qualitatively different. With respect to the terrorists, and with respect to the teenagers, I'm proud to tell you that last week I introduced legislation in the Senate to provide a $5 million reward for the capture of the murderers of the Taliban. Thank you. 
what military in the history of the world have you ever seen that sends the first bomb telling people get the heck out? 